Hey, this is how I do tree lack. And um, I got to respond to what Christ Bird has posted about this darker and darker and darker. I got you. So everybody seems to think I'm the bad guy and I'm the poison in all of these situations. So um, this is how it is. But but in this God stalker and inside of, you know, the public razor, what's missed is the attempt to try to help people. It's true. I did all that I could to try to help the people in Hug City and also try to, you know, be a beneficiary for the people in Bottle Land. But as usual, sometimes you get kicked in the teeth, you know, and your mouth start to bleed when you try to help people. But King Samuel Poem showed his ugly face or his ugly history in terms of not being beneficial in helping these people in this dilemma. So he rectified the situation by not doing nothing. And they support him and still cheer for him. But, you know, this whenever I do tree lack is involved in something, everybody don't want to see it as a negative. As me being a barbarian, I went from a Christian standpoint Christ bird, in case you don't realize this, trying to help both sides. Now, they talk about money and trying to say something about me trying to get paid. I never ask these people for any money. They're lying when they say that I ask for cash because I wanted to resolve the situation to show that I'm beneficial and that I'm a person who likes to help out. But it didn't work that way. So another segment about this darker they got expanded, which we're not talking about, is the two royal people who came from uh, Planet Granite, that came from there, that was, you know, riding this caravan in the middle of the street. They was peaceful people, didn't have nothing to do with nothing. And I'm going to say this because this is true. They came from Planet Granite, and most of the people in the United States and in the world and on Earth don't know much about this. So it might have been a little confusion. Uh, whatever, and somebody jumped a gun and they ended up, you know, shots was fired and both of these people that was guests and visiting inside of this uh, urban Texas area was killed. Now, needless to say, in the story as it goes, this caused a whole lot of chaos because some people in urban Texas don't know anything about the people from Planet Granite. Now, they don't march to the same drums and the beats as the people in the United States and Japan or wherever else you want to say, Australia, Europe, or none of that type of stuff. They don't march to these tunes. So they're thinking that old racism way of doing things up to, you know, just smashing somebody's head in is going to work. So the people from Planet Granite was waiting, like, for an apology or some type of explanation for why two of their royal people, a king and a queen who was wife, husband and wife, and was married to each other, was murdered in the middle of the streets in urban Texas. So, like the way some people do things, um, they didn't get a reply. They didn't get any word, didn't hear nothing from nobody in the urban Texas area and hear nothing from New York City or um, Washington, D.C., nothing. So the people on Planet Granite are like, okay, is this the way it's going to be? So these people are peaceful, and they come down from Planet Granite, and you even notice that you don't even hear me talking disrespectful about the people from Planet Granite because they ain't no joke. So these people, again, that was assassinated, that was killed, was king and royalty in this place. And there's people now at that spot Man, that mourn still to this day, even though it's been a lot of years, the death of those two people who was prominent and who did a lot of things for their planet. And so when this didn't work this way, them people came down. And you think a gun, a gun is the last thing somebody can use. What these people brought with them, um, it turned urban Texas upside down. It turned it upside down. And you talking about radiation and 
people, you know, eyes falling out and lip and tongue and stuff disappearing and they can't breathe. I mean, my heart goes out to the people in, in that area, you know. So now the United States tries to come together and figure out why this particular part of Texas was bombed. It was blown up because they shown some signs of disrespect to these people. And I don't know why it happened. So if somebody from urban Texas or someone wants to explain it, then go ahead. You know, those people are waiting for that information, but it's too late because that's something that happened a long time ago and they still haven't received an apology. So to show you guys that I do treat like it's not some type of barbarian, this is how it went. So I, again, and this is not spoken, they didn't say this part, but this is in there as you see as the chapters and stuff go along. I went down there and talked to them people, you know, in urban Texas after the, the ashes and stuff was, was there and all these little laser marks and stuff on the ground. And I mean, it was chaos. I lightweight didn't want to go in there. I had on a body suit because I didn't want to, you know, get any type of infection for what they had done. So I was like, man, y'all don't want to bother these individuals like that. So, but this is darker. So that little area in Texas was darker and it was a darker situation for the United States and the powers that be inside of earth. It was darker. So this something that Christ Bird didn't say exactly, but he told another portion of the story, which is cool, and that's fine. So I'm telling something else that ended up being just as important as what happened in Hug City and what happened with the people in Bottle Land, but this is just different and this is just bigger. But I don't want to come off as I'm trying to have a beef or anything anymore, as y'all seen, Motel Granite's contribution was just to come there, stand around, and act as if he was going to do something to help, and he really didn't, because he know that he's nothing but a puppet for King Samuel Poem, who hasn't shown up for years to do anything. And so the people are still believing in him like he's some type of a lord. But needless to say, I sometimes have to watch what I say because they think I'm just jealous and upset about the way things are. But this is my install, Ivy Tree Lack, for the God Stalker series and also what's going to happen inside of the public razor. But um, I'm checking out of here. And again, I want to give a shout out for anybody who is listening to the Cold Crown Network where we're putting all of this stuff down. Um, even though we got personal beefs and vendettas towards one another, it's still something that needs to be spoken and the story needs to be told. So somebody's got to tell it.